Breaking, Air Force makes shock nuclear move, get ready. The tensions between North Korea and the United States are rising to an all-time high. President Donald Trump has vowed that if the U.S. were to be attacked by North Korea, they would face fire and fury. Now there is more evidence showing that President Trump meant what he said. According to The Washington Times, the U.S. Air Force is preparing for an attack from North Korea by putting nuclear-armed bombers on 24-hour standby. This has not happened since the Cold War, according to a report released Sunday. The report, which was issued by Defense One, is further proof that if North Korea decides to cross the line drawn in the sand, they will pay for their actions. If the order comes, the B-52S will return to a ready-to-fly posture not seen since the Cold War, stated Marcus Weisgerber, a global business editor. Weisgerber added that we could once again see fully loaded B-52S ready to go at the snap of a finger. News of this kind of preparation follows multiple threats from North Korea. They have threatened to attack Guam and use nuclear weapons against the U.S. mainland on multiple occasions. Most of their threats have been reported through the North Korean state-run media. They often talk about the day that they bring the U.S. to their knees, which is unacceptable. President Trump has stated that he wants to solve the problem through diplomacy, but if a solution cannot be reached it couldn't hurt to be ready militarily. As time goes on, it is becoming abundantly clear that dictator Kim Jong-un is unwilling to solve any of the problems he may have with the United States. This is yet one more step in ensuring that we're prepared, General David Gold, Air Force Chief of Staff confirmed during an interview. I look at it more as not planning for any specific event, but more for the reality of the global situation we find ourselves in and how we ensure we're prepared going forward. In other words, it is better to be prepared and not need to use these measures, than to not be prepared and need these measures to ensure our safety. This moment in time has been a long time coming, as many past presidents have all but ignored the continued threat of an attack by North Korea. Things began to heat up over the summer when North Korea began testing missiles, some with nuclear capabilities. Many nations in North Korea's proximity, such as South Korea and Japan, are rightly nervous about the consequences of North Korea continuing its missile tests. The United Nations has placed a harsh set of sanctions on North Korea. Even China, North Korea's biggest trade partner, agreed to work within the sanctions to cut off the dictator-run country. Putting the B-52S back on alert is just one of many decisions facing the Air Force as the military responds to a changing geopolitical environment that includes North Korea's rapidly advancing nuclear arsenal, President Trump's confrontational approach to Pyongyang and Russia's increasingly potent and active armed forces, Weisgerber reported. As the tension builds, we all hope the issues between North Korea and the United States can be settled without a nuclear conflict. However, if something does happen, we need to be ready for such an occasion. That is why these nuclear-armed bombers are on standby. 